simple question. We see the diagram and we want to know what is this and describe how this works. So first of all, this is a cyclotron. Now what this does is varies the electric field. I'm just put E and the, and it keeps the magnetic field B constant. So right here, typically people see the 2D view called Ds, D-E-E-S. And so there are two Ds right here and they're essentially hollow electrodes that are in a vacuum between uh, magnets. Now the particle starts in the center of the magnet. So let's say it starts right here and that has a electric field of zero. Now this particle gains energy as it's accelerated and the max energy is determined by a diameter of the revolution of the particle. So it's gonna start to rotate. It's gonna go in here. And as the electric field is varied, it is going to accelerate against that constant magnetic field. It's going to gain energy and how far it's able to travel this diameter. The bigger diameter, the higher the energy can get that is going to ultimately be the determining factor of what energy you're gonna get from this particle. So typically, from these cyclotrons, these are monoenergetic, meaning you're only going to get one energy and it's going to be a continuous beam. Typically, these things are 3.5 to five meters. And one of the disadvantages are that you get a higher neutron contamination with the use of energy degraders that change the electron range. So you get one energy. If you want something else, you can use a degrader, but that is going to increase the neutron contamination. Now, energies on these particles, you can get up to 100 MeV. And you can also make F18 even. So if you want to make F18, you can make oxygen 18 bombarded with protons and that will give you that F18. So this is a very general overview of a cyclotron, but I feel like deep enough that for most questions, that's really all you would need to know, but you definitely need to jump in the con jump into any, often these cyclotrons are used with proton therapy. So jump into what resources and study materials you find most fitting for you and that you enjoy and really understand how cyclotrons work, when they're used and be able to answer questions about them because they are becoming more familiar and common now that proton therapy has kind of started to take off. So if you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching. Best of luck studying.